Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can run multiple versions of the same app on your Samsung device. And um, this is going to entail multiple versions of the same app or using uh, the app lock feature on um, Secure Folder. Um, there's a couple ways you can enable this on a Samsung, um, such as you can do duplicate messaging apps or social media apps for most apps like Facebook and stuff like that. Um, or you can also add a app to a secure folder, the secure folder, and you can one, lock the apps, and two, the apps in the secure folder are entirely separate from what is installed on your device. So we're gonna head on over to the S23, oh my, sorry, the Fold 4 here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up and exactly what it does. All right, so here we are over on the Z Fold 4, and I'm gonna get you zoomed in here so you guys can see. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to enable secure folder. Easiest way to do that is just make it a um, quick toggle and just turn it on, it'll create the secure folder. If not, you can go into settings and search it up and you can find all the settings for it there. Um, so what we're gonna do here is, one cool thing about secure folder is you can also make it look like anything. So I have mine just for this demo, I usually just call it secure folder, but for the demo, um, I have made it password manager. So if somebody's on your phone, they're just gonna think this is a password manager. Um, and I keep some, I just move these social media apps in here just to show you guys, um, you can put anything in there. But everything in here is separate. So like your gallery, as you can see, there's no pictures or videos there. But if we go over to my regular phone and we go into, I have Google Photos on this end of the thing. But if you go in here, you can see we have stuff in there. So everything is separate. I also have mine just to lock when I lock the phone. I don't need it locked all the time. I don't really care about anything in here. It's just for the video. Um, but everything is separate. Your Google Chrome is going to be separate. It's all running separate instances of the apps. So that's very cool. My files, you open this up. As you can see, there's nothing in here. Um, but if I open my files on the phone, there would be stuff in there. Now the way you add stuff is you just go up here and go to add files. And if you want to put uh, move photos from your phone to the secure folder, you can do it right here. Or you can do audio or you know whatever it may be. Um, so that's how you do that. Now the apps in here, like I said, the apps in here run entirely independent of the ones outside Secure Folder. So if you tap the plus right here, it's gonna open up this right here. Now you can add supported apps from what's already installed on your phone and it will add a second version of it. So if I added Twitter for uh, example, it's gonna add a totally new install of Twitter just in the Secure Folder and it's not gonna be the one that's already signed in on my phone. Um, if you wanna search from an app from the Play Store, you can do so here as well. Now another thing is the apps in the secure folder update on their own. So you're gonna to have to go to the Play Store from secure folder and update your apps from here if um, if you only have it in the secure folder. It's not gonna update um, outside of that. So I have Instagram in secure folder, but if I go over here to the Play Store and I type in Instagram, as you can see, I have the option to install it because it's not actually installed on my phone. It's only in the secure folder. It's an entirely different app. So not only can you secure apps in here in the content, you can also run uh, a second instance of the app. So if you have like a personal social media account and a work social media account, you can separate the two completely, um, which is what's cool about this. Um, I can keep my, my personal calendar on the outside of my, my phone and my work calendar on the inside of my phone. Um, I don't really have a job that, that requires that kind of stuff, so I don't really do a whole bunch of stuff on my phone for work. Um, so. You know, this is kind of, like I said, just for show, but that's an example of stuff you can do with this. Um, and there are also settings for a secure folder. And here you can choose your lock type, whether you can unlock it with your uh, fingerprint, that kind of stuff, uh, when to auto lock. So when the phone restarts after 30 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, when the screen turns off or every time you close the secure folder. Um, this is also a different type of folder. It's, it kind of opens up like an app. You can't just tap on the outside and go back to the home screen. You actually have to hit the home button. So that is cool with that. That is what Secure Folder does. There's a couple different things you can do with it. Like I said, you can run multiple instances of an app or you can just lock your apps entirely. Um, another one last thing is you can drag apps out of here and put them on the home screen um, so they won't be in that folder, but the app will still remain locked. So you have to unlock to open the app. Um, so if you just wanna lock an app, um, you can make a Secure Folder and just add the, the Secure Folder apps to the home screen itself rather than putting them in the actual Secure Folder app. So there is Secure Folder on the Z Fold 4. This also works on 
the S23 Ultra or any one UI device basically. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.